Hey there, my name is Perry Chauforce, and um, I know it's a bit weird name for, for here in the States, but it makes uh, perfect sense for my my fellow Swedes um, and other Scandinavians, to be honest. Um, uh, you can always find me, I'm also called the Price Whisper, uh, a little easier maybe on the uh, uh, on the tongue than 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 the show force. So anyway, um, I'm here to talk about how you can and should uh, make pricing the uh, the centerpiece in 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 your business strategy. And um, obviously, I'm as the price whisper. You know, obviously, I I, I think this is the right thing to do. But um, it, it's 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 not only me. Um, let me uh, start by by quoting a a prior client basically. Um, uh, a company that is the holding company actually of the, is the CEO of the holding company uh, that owns um, several of the of the of the most um, um, famous I should say maybe uh, audio brands for for stereos and um, and home theater and, and so forth <clears throat> and and he said that um, um, putting pricing in in uh, in in his um, companies um, business strategy as, as the centerpiece in their business strategy uh, made the, the group of companies uh, to grow revenue from about a hundred million to way over a, a billion dollars over a few years of course but um, it's still not too shabby you know and um, a similar growth is is probably um, possible for also your company if you if you put pricing in the uh, as the centerpiece of your business strategy now how do you do that well um well first you need to consider um profits right we all know profits are good now think about it what happens if you don't have profits well eventually you have no cash right um uh, and and you can get cash from um from from your operations by selling something at um, at profitable prices, you can get cash from investors or or maybe even the bank in some cases. Um, <clears throat> but if you're not profitable, eventually investors will stop supporting you with cash. Um, if you're not profitable, the uh, the bank is unlikely to want to continue to 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 loan you more and more money. And um, in that situation, if you don't have cash um, and, and, and your operation don't give you cash, uh, the, the, you die, your company die. Um, you can sell part of it or you can sell the assets or, or whatever, or you can um, shut it down. Probably not what you want. So profits are good because profits give you cash, right? Um, cash is king, we all know that. And, um, the uh, then so that's that's number one number two is that you need to think about how um how um profitability is is um affected by uh, by your prices and in any company um profitability is is only comes from three variables it is the total cost of the operation and, and that obviously includes um uh, cost of goods sold and and uh, staffing costs and rents or whatever you may have so it's a total cost of the 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 operation it's a single line item right um, it is the sales volume of what you sell right whether it's product or services or or some combination uh, of of the above um, it it is um, it's the volume if you if your volume goes up um, Obviously, your revenue goes up most likely, um, so, so, um, uh, and 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 uh, but so does your cost. So it may not increase profitability. And then you have the price of what you sell. And for the average company, um, and I'm, I want to introduce something that I call the one percent challenge. And the one percent challenge uh, is is very simple. Uh, you have these three variables. You have the total cost, you have the total sales volume and the price, right? And the 1% challenge is simply to understand how um, each of these are being affected by a change in of, of them in 1%. So looking at that, if your sales volume increase with 1%, 
for the average company and i can guarantee you that you're going to be different than this but for the average company um profitability goes up by three and a half percent and obviously it's because uh when you increase your sales you also increase your cost of goods sold even if, if if you're total service company and you don't really have a cost of goods sold it's still a cost of selling it's a it's a cost of customer support and it's all different things so your 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 increase in sales also increase your costs um, then if we look at it from a from a um, from from a cost point of view if you can manage to decrease your cost with a single percent um, the profitability goes up with an average five and a half percent. Again, I can guarantee you that it's going to be different from in, in your particular company. But, um, but, but the, so these are averages. But if you look at pricing, uh, if you increase price with one percent, or um, if you decrease discounting with one percent, profitability goes up with 11.3 percent. Quite amazing, eh? Now, a um, couple of things to, to consider. Um, small price changes like 1%, 2%, 5% does typically uh, do not change your sales volume, right? Um, uh, the, your customers are just going to accept them. They're not going to say anything about it. So, so that's one thing to consider. Um, the other thing to consider is that a lot of, of, of your effort in your, co uh, in your company is probably already put into increasing sales. And you probably spend a lot of resources in controlling your cost. I mean, incre uh, under increasing sales is all your sales and marketing expenses. A good portion of, of your product development expenses as well, right? So, um, so out of these three, um, pricing has the highest leverage and um, one of the things I do encourage you to do uh, is to go and look at your own financials from, from the last year or the last quarter or whatever makes sense for you and 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 say to yourself well if we change our total cost what will what would our profitability be for that time period if we could increase our sales with 1%, what would our profitability be? And uh, if we could increase our price or decrease our um, uh, discounting with 1%, what would our profitability be, right? And you will inevitably find that pricing has the highest leverage on profitability, you know, even if you're probably not going to be on the average of 11.3%. Going to be less sometimes, going to be a lot more sometimes. But the actual 1% challenge is, and I'm asking you to ask yourself, have you ever failed to change anything a single percent? Of course not. It is so small. It's nothing, you know. And you know the leverage that it's going to make for your profitability, right? It's, 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 it's mind-boggling. Um, so... Um, how do you then do you put pricing as the centerpiece in your business strategy? Or I should say your pricing strategy as the centerpiece in, in your, your, um, your, your business strategy because it's not only the, the price price, it's your discounting, um, it's how you structure the price and so forth. Well, the first thing is that you take that 1% challenge and you tell your executives to do it, right? Um, you tell all your executives to make that calculation. And you tell all your uh, managers that are appropriate. Some managers maybe shouldn't necessarily know your financials, but uh, the, financial, the, the managers who, who should know your financials, and you may want to be open here uh, because this makes sense, um, to do the same calculation. And then you, of course, have to do this repeat, repeatedly. You have to ask them to do this every month or every quarter, whatever makes sense for your business. But this will change behavior. It will make the whole company more focused on profitability, right? 
And think about what, what, what it means. Well, it means a lot of things. Um, it means that your customer segmentation, which I'm sure you do in one way or another, you're going to make sure that you, 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 you focus more effort onto selling to the customer segment that will support higher prices because that will lead to higher profitability. In terms of your product development or your um, service definitions, um, you, the project managers who do these calculations, maybe not for the company, but maybe for the, um, for the, uh, for the product or the product um, uh, family that they, they're responsible for, um, they, they, they're going to suddenly instill the, 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 the features and functions and benefits in their product that support higher prices, higher, more profitable prices, right? Um, marketing is going to make sure that they market in the channels and with the messages that are driving a higher willingness to pay and thus supporting higher prices. And, and, and sales uh, management is going to be uh, much more restrictive with 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 discounting. They're not just going to approve any discounting request that may may come. You you're not going to have um, insane high discounts on anything. You know, um, unless there's you you, you want to get rid of something in 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 inventory, like last year's fashion, for example. You know. Um, but they're going to be much more careful in, in, in giving away discounts, right? And, and they also um, need to make sure that, that, that um, salespeople are compensated not on revenue, but on, on, on profit or at least some combination. So they also are incentivized to, to look at profitability and, and not only give away that extra 10% just to close the deal, right? So, um, it's not that difficult, obviously, like any change in a company. Um, you need to, you, you know, you need to have it trickle down. You need to teach people how to do it. But it's not that difficult, right? To put pricing, the, the pr pricing in, in the centerpiece of, of your business strategy. When, 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 when the company, um, I mentioned one company, another company who has, has pricing as, as a centerpiece in their business strategy is Apple. And look what they, you know, look what, what that took them, you know, you know, hugely profitable, enormous valuation, right? Um, because they don't discount or they discount very little. Um, their products are very high priced and they spend obviously a tremendous amount of money on, uh, on marketing, on developing that magic that they manage to instill in some people that supports the high prices they have, right? This, this is not an accident, right? Not at all. It's all by design. And it could be by design for your company as well. But there is, uh, if you really want to take this to the next level, it is take those, um, uh, what I just mentioned, the customer segmentation, um, the product feature function benefit focus, the, um, uh, the, the, um, the marketing channel, marketing messages, um, and so forth, uh, positioning statements, the, the sales methodology, the, the sales uh, channels, the sales methodology, the, uh, how you, um, how you s eventually um, structure your, your, your pricing strategy and, and the levels of your pricing. Re to really take that from the next to the next level, not using guesses or gut feel or I think this is what it's going to be, but actually doing it from a perspective of doing the research into your market and understanding what they're willing to pay what the customer profile is that are willing to pay the highest prices, what the features, functions and benefits leads to a higher willingness to pay, 
what marketing channels and marketing messages and positioning statements will lead to a higher willingness to pay what sales channels and sales methodology would lead to a higher willingness to pay and obviously what um, structure of your pricing strategy that minimize friction and maximize what people are willing to pay right when you do that you are really elevating your company and um, that is where pricing be really becomes the centerpiece in your business um, strategy and that's when you are guaranteed to take your company to the next level right and in closing don't forget the one percent challenge make sure you do it make sure you, that your executives do it and let it trickle down into your organization because it's going to change the whole organization from something that simple right okay that was it for today um, I, um, I hope you enjoyed this and I'm looking forward to see you again on the next episode